Well, I mean, the arrest was going to happen regardless. The arrest was going to happen from the arrest I had in 2000. So the arrest for immigration was supposed to happen back in 2000. Or 2001, two, three, four, five, all the way. Every year, I should have been detained by immigration. So I knew it was going to happen. I knew it was looming in the air, and there was no way I could avoid it. I mean, it was just something that's, it, it just, you know, once you hear legally you're wanting a green card and you get arrested for anything criminal, you do have to face the immigration judge. And I knew it was going to happen. Was I nervous about it? Not at all. I mean, so I had no control over it. The whole nine wasn't great. 2010 was horrible. You know, I had to do everything that was going on in my life. So 2011, I had to regroup. And I actually had a great year in 2011. Again, you know, coming up with the Arnold, you know, third, Olympia fourth, uh, India fourth, and then finally winning first at the first Arnold in Spain. And coming in from Spain, my trophies winning, uh, I get detained by uh, immigration because of some bad deeds I have done in my past. There was nothing I can do to change it. I wanted to see the judge outside, but that's not the way the system works. The system works, you know, we have to lock you up, make money out of you being locked up. Upon returning from his triumphant win of the European Arnold Classic in Spain, Victor Martinez was detained by immigration for a review of some legal problems from his past. There it is, you know, I'm coming from Spain, Again, knowing that I could be detained, and I come in and I see the uh, officer, and he tells me, "Well, you know, I'm gonna have to detain you." And you know, I told you this was coming. I said, "Well, I knew it." So that's why, I pretty much, had certain things paid for already, certain bills paid, and you just deal with it. I dealt with it. I mean nothing you can do, you know, kicking and screaming, there's nothing you can do about it, you know. My lawyer was already hired, and you're just now waiting for your case to kind of, you know, come and go. To actually be in jail and want to live or think of outside, it's, it just makes it all difficult, it makes it harder. It makes every day go by not that simple. You know, so I definitely had to shut down. <laughs>